editing your underwater photos in under five minutes. That is what underwater photographer Gil Sassi is going to show us today on the Dive Saga channel. Well, hello guys and welcome back to another episode on the Saga channel. Today, next to me, underwater photographer Gil Sassi. And Gil, where may the faithful Saga channel viewers know you from? Uh, we did a couple of videos together, probably a, like a year ago now, where we went on a photo shoot and we discussed all the, uh, the gear that I use and kind of showed people that you don't have to spend a fortune on gear in order to be able to get some really awesome underwater shots. Yeah, that video is not prerequisite to be able to watch this one, but if you're into underwater photography and you want to get started or you want to step up your game and you want to be conscious about your budget, there are two really good videos about that, uh, which I will link below. However, today Gil is going to show us how to make a photo social media ready in under 10 minutes. No, well, five minutes. In, I reckon five minutes. In under five minutes. Yeah. So um, I guess first things first is we need to go and get a photo. You go dive in. I think we got some good shots. Gil, you picked one uh, here. Why did you choose this particular shot? I chose this shot because um, it's got a few different elements that we can adjust. Um, it's got a reef section that we can make colorful. It's got um, plenty of blue water in the background that I can teach people how to kind of smooth out. And obviously it's got a big subject in it that is you with your camera. What do you mean a big subject? A main subject in the middle of the screen. Not a bit, no, no offense. <laughs> <laughs> a main subject in the middle of the image that we're gonna like make pop out a little bit. Okay, yeah, I'm all for it. So this is a really good example. I think a lot of people's photos probably come out with this type of yeah. uh, both luminance and, and color yeah, spread. They're, they're always very green and blue when they first kind of come out of the camera. Um, and if you kind of don't really know how to use Lightroom, this is gonna be a really quick way to make them look a hell of a lot better and you're gonna feel comfortable posting them on your social media. All right, we're about to start the timer, but first, are there things that you would recommend people that you cannot really fix in post? Like, are there things that you look for on the during the shoot that you know, okay, I do need to get this or that right, otherwise it's we're not gonna be able to do it? Yeah, there's a few different things. So when I'm taking pictures of you, for example, in this image, I want you to be positioned positioned in the frame in a certain way. I don't want you to be all the way up kind of one end of the shot or, or the other. Um, I want you to be fairly central, but maybe turned in a certain way. I like a kind of three quarter profile for you. Um, in, in this image, that's kind of how you are slightly turned diagonally. Um, and I like to have, I mean, it's really nice if you can squeeze in some reef into your image, um, cause that's gonna like bring it, like have something that's pretty colorful. It's not just gonna be diver in blue. Uh, although those shots can be dramatic and cool, this is gonna give you an opportunity to create something colorful and it's gonna stand out. So I like to include some reef as well as the subject and some blue. So we're about to start the timer. I'm going to hand the microphone to you. You're going to walk our wonderful viewers through a five minute max uh, five necessary. Minutes. Yeah, five minute max necessary steps to make that photo social media ready. 
If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, then you should do that right now. There's a red button below. You click that and you can click the bell. Every two weeks, a new video goes live. It's a nice spread with, between uh, adventure and dive travel, careers in scuba diving and underwater photography, a little bit of tech diving sprinkled through it. Super cool. For those of you who are already subscribed, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Gil, we're gonna start the timer now. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is work on the lighting panel. So. Don't be afraid to click auto. Lightroom is pretty clever and it can really do a good job just by hitting that button. And then you've got a lot less to do with these sliders. The only thing I'm gonna do is bring the highlights down because it's still a little bit too light at the top of the image. Next, we're gonna use the white balance selector, which is down here in the color panel. And with this, you wanna find a neutral part of the image. Um, you could pick the skin, for example, or something kind of whitish over here. I've played around with this already, so I know what's gonna work. Um, and this kind of light, very light green area here, um, whitey green, works pretty well. So now we've already got a much more colorful image, but we've got too much red now. So it's brought in too much red. So all we're gonna do is drag the tint slider down to an area that looks, to a, a place where it kind of looks a little more pleasing. Um, all of this is subjective, so you can choose how you want it but that looks okay to me, it's already looking loads better. So, next thing we're gonna do is create a mask. So this is the mask button here, and we're gonna create three masks. We're gonna do one for the reef, one for the blue, and one for Nick. So, first thing, a linear gradient. And we're gonna drag from the bottom corner of the image, upwards and diagonal. And the area that's in red is the area that's gonna be affected by any changes that you make. So now we have that selected, we're gonna bring up the shadows a little bit just to lighten that area. And then we're gonna bring up some tint, uh, sorry, some temperature and some tint. Again, you can make this, play about with it, get it to a point that you like it, um, but it's already now looking a little more colorful, it's looking warmer. Next thing, create another mask. And this time we're gonna tell Lightroom to focus on the sky. Now obviously the sky isn't in our image, but um, all this blue is, and Lightroom will think that this is the sky, it will think this is a horizon, and select this as the sky. So it's kind of a cool little trick that you can use. Um, it hasn't found all of it, so all you do is hit the add button, grab a brush, and add into it, just by brushing in these areas here. And subtract from the reef area here, where it's kind of gone in too much with another brush, to get rid of that. Once you've got the uh, area selected that you wanna play with, we wanna try and smooth out and make it less grainy, the water. There was a lot of particles in the water, it kind of looks a bit grainy. So we're gonna come down to uh, the effects tab here. We're just gonna bring down the texture, bring down the clarity, and up the noise reduction in the detail section here. And now it's looking a lot smoother in all this area here. One more mask, this time we're gonna select the subject and that is gonna hopefully uh, detect Nick and his camera. Might just take a second to figure it out. And there he is, perfect. So all we're gonna do here is just bring up some clarity, only a little, very subtle, you don't wanna do this too much and bring up some dehaze and you can play back, so you can do it way too much and it looks crazy, but if you just do it very subtly, it kind of makes him pop from the image just a little bit, but not an unnatural amount. And that is it, done. That is all you need to do, and this is gonna look way better for your social media. I don't know how long that was. But... That was uh, not even four minutes. Oh, just, well, there you go. Just around the four minute mark. So, obviously there is way more that I could do with this image, um, it, you know, for professional photo shoots um, and things like maybe I want to print out or uh, get published or anything like that, I would run this through Photoshop. I would spend ages color grading it perfectly. I would zoom into the image and, you know, clean up these little bits on the mask here or these little white dots. Um, maybe, you know, some scratches on the lens. Oh, what's going on here? Some scratches on the lens there. Um, I would you know, get rid of them. So, and it, all of that can take an hour. You can spend an hour on this image if you wanted to, but for new photographers and all you want to do is post it on your social media, four minutes and you've got an image that looks like that. Previously, it was this and now it's that.
So that's a massive difference, right? Yeah. And that's just in four or five minutes, so that's great. And as you already said, for most of us, uh, even when you work professionally, a lot of your content still ends up mostly on tiny screens. Tiny screens where all those kind of super fine details aren't gonna come out anyway. Yeah, so pick your battles, right? Yeah. Uh, start with a clean shot, of course. An interesting shot like this one with an extremely interesting, and handsome, cool, diver. handsome diver who has episodes every two weeks. So you should subscribe. Uh, and uh, yeah, a couple of small tips and tricks, which I think was very useful. Yeah, so. Let us know what you think. If you have other input, if you are an underwater photographer, if you use Lightroom and you have other ideas, uh, definitely share them in the comments below. Always happy to interact. And I will, of course, share that with Gil. Yeah. At Gil Sassy Photography, that is the Instagram handle. That's mm -hmm. where people can follow Gil's work. Yeah. And of course, at Dive Saga. Uh, also want to do that. Gil, thank you so much Pleasure. for sharing the wisdom with us. You're welcome. Thanks for having me back on. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.